closer attack in front. She leads by five. He started off at a very fast gait, just like a two-year-old who didn't carry any weight. Did he run? Yes, he ran, but was he the horse of the year? It's a question we've been asking ourselves officially since 1936, and right from the very beginning, it wasn't always so easy to answer. In fact, in those early days, two or three different groups bestowed Horse of the Year honors, and they often disagreed. Let's take the case of Native Dancer. In 1952, the Grey Ghost won all nine of his juvenile starts, and two of the polls crowned him Horse of the Year. But the Daily Racing Forum voted for one count, a three-year-old who won four of seven. The next year, Native Dancer won nine of ten, including the Preakness, the Belmont, and the Travers. His only loss came in the Kentucky Derby. It's a heartbreaker for Native Dancer. He gave it a try, but loses by a head to Dark Star. Despite the defeat at Churchill Downs, Native Dancer was the most popular horse in the land in 1953 and racing's first real TV star. But he wasn't Horse of the Year. At the time, Native Dancer, the three-year-old star, was winning nine of ten. Tom Fool, as a four-year-old, was winning ten of ten. So at the end of the year, Tom Fool was Horse of the Year. The following season, Native Dancer was still a celebrity, but he only ran three times, just once in a major stakes and nothing over a mile. His season and career cut short by injury. Meanwhile, three-year-old High Gun won half a dozen races in 1954, including the Belmont Stakes and the Jockey Club Gold Cup. But wouldn't you know it, Native Dancer was voted Horse of the Year. The voters felt that they needed to kind of give him a, a make good, a kind of a, they were rewarding him as much for 53 as for 54. It probably wasn't the last time voters thought that way. Zenyatta is dead last. In 2010, many believed Blame should have been Horse of the Year, having beaten Zenyatta in the Breeders' Cup Classic, but the Queen was crowned instead. I have to wonder if maybe there were some voters who said, gosh, we just can't let this wonderful mare go her career without having been Horse of the Year. Zenyatta and Native Dancer have a lot in common. They both captured the public's imagination. They lost only once by a head. And they showed that Horse of the Year honors are often seen not in black and white, but in shades of gray. I'm Scott Jagow for the Pollock Report. <laughs>